This is a test fit of the fender flares on a Chevy Blazer. Just getting our markings all lined up. Okay, so after test fitting and drilling the holes for our brackets, um, you might run into a small issue with uh, the fitment up near the top. You'll see there's a bit of a gap. So you don't wanna drill your holes in your fender until you eliminate that gap. So as I push on a certain part of the flare, it sucks the gap into the fender. You wanna have somebody help you do this. They can hold this in place where the gap gets eliminated and then you can uh, proceed to screw it into the fender itself. Okay, so we're test fitting the jungle fender flares on a 2003 Chevy Blazer. Right now I'm just marking off uh, the holes and where I'm going to put the mounting brackets. So after the initial test fit and marking of the holes, what I've done is I've started to uh, drill some holes in the actual fender flare and uh, make some mounting brackets. You can make them out of any kind of metal you want. I just chose what I had readily available. Um, what I've done is also drilled quarter inch holes through the fiberglass and used quarter inch nuts, uh, nuts, bolts, and washers. So basically this is the finished flare on the side of the truck. Basically how we finished it off is this is what the hardware looks like. You can paint it to whatever color you want. I mean, it's completely up to you. But I did everything from back to front because it helped eliminate the gap that you would normally see. So you can see the fender flare is tight up against the fender of the truck. And again, I found the easiest way for that to happen is starting in the back of the flare and doing the hardware all the way to the front.